Hi, this is Sherry Veronica. Now, this family found themselves in the Nation News and they had the, their say as to Patrick Best's life. And I'm going to comment. 32 years old, father of four, and he had a girlfriend, a partner. Okay, They're saying he has a partner, uh, you know, not working, unemployed. Now, unless Patrick had a heap of money in some bank account, that he was using to sustain himself. Unless that was the case, the flip side should tell you he was a strain on society. You know, if you're not participating, you know, he had four children, father of four. If you're not supporting your children, he had a girlfriend, a partner. If you're not, like, looking after your partner, not, I'm not saying taking care of her, but you know, a little date here and there, a little dinner here and there, and you know, paying rent, you're 32 years old, 32, grown man, right? And then with rent comes utilities, and then you have you know, maybe a vehicle, you have to gas and maintenance. So unless he, in his unemployed state, had money on the bank, taking care of all these things that they said he had. Then the flip side would say he was a strain on society. He's not an active participant, okay? That's, hey, I'm just here to say things, okay? I'm saying things, okay? So he liked to dance and he liked to sing and he liked to party. He liked to dance, sing, party. You didn't hear anything when they were giving this little semi-eulogy about him being a good carpenter, if he had a trade, or if he had a degree like in psychology, or maybe he had a degree in, you know, humanities or, you know, sociology, that he's, you know, he was actively looking for a job. You didn't hear that. See? You didn't hear that. You didn't see that written across the pages here. You didn't see that, okay? All you can see are emotions and within the human system, the language written, and it's called DNA, but the language that, that it took to write, the, 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 the program that created the human system, they wrote in emotions and you have to watch that. That part of the programming, you have to watch, okay? You have to be careful with that. You have to be careful, you know, about all the tears you shed and everything you say and, you know, what brings on the emotions. And you have to consider that maybe since it's a a program, it, it is a program, you have to consider that maybe there are greater programs out there and maybe Patrick is, he's okay, He's okay, okay? But you have to you have to manage your emotions, okay? And you have to manage the expectations too when you come on social media and when you come in the paper, you have to manage those expectations or what you're expecting other people to say, okay, you know, let's see who's going to say what and we're going to really jump on them and we're going to tell them mind your own. You have to watch all of that because you came in the paper you expose yourself to being commented on, okay? It's a comment. It's an opinion, okay? And from what we are seeing and what you said, Patrick was unemployed, four kids and a woman. Four kids and a partner. I like to party, okay? Now, you said that he wasn't a violent person, but from in my chat, in my chat, they're saying that may be true, but he wasn't really against it either, wasn't really against it. You know, thick chains around the net, there are connotations that surround that. Anything you do, there could be a connotation. I remember, you know, I took a photo with a red lipstick and someone said, oh, Sherry Veronica, where that red lipstick, she's this and that. I, I, I never up to that point knew that Red lipstick meant something, but there con- you could do things and have all the best you know, you can be innocent about it, 
that people could find a negative or there could be certain connotations surrounding that particular thing that you have done. And people are going to comment and whether you knew about it before or not, you get to know that people look at certain things you do and they form opinions. Neither here are they with me. I am unbothered, really. But some people are bothered. And I, as I said, you have to manage your emotions and manage your expectations. Okay, not everyone's going to like you. Not everyone's going to like what you're saying. Let's get back to Patrick. So they're saying that although he wasn't in it, he wasn't really against it. He, 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 didn't, have, he didn't have a feeling for the block boys, really. Then there's nothing that he had, like he said, like he was saying, I have to get away from them. I cannot hang out. I cannot hang out with them. It could be a dangerous thing to hang with them. In fact, in fact, when you saw the video of Patrick and someone was holding his hand, the chain was so heavy on that person's neck. It looked as though it was pulling the person down. That person that was comforting Patrick best had a thick chain around his neck. So sometimes, even though you're not about that, you know, you're not a violent person, sometimes you are not that. But if you associate with certain people or in a certain district, in a certain village, if you are associating, like leaving your house and going to hang with them to play dominoes, like you said, you saw with that guy, Ricardo, you, you're hanging with certain people, things can happen. Things can happen. And things do happen, okay? You're not, you're not Teflon proof. You're not bulletproof, okay? Things can happen and it did happen to Patrick. It was not a good outcome, but it happened to Patrick. He was sitting around or laying around watching, you know, whatever. And something happened. Something happened. And whether it was for him or not, it's not, me, it's not for me to say. But what I'm saying is, when you find yourself in certain neighborhoods and you know what's going on in the pine, you know what's going on in certain parts of Barbados, BLN and other parts of Barbados, you know. And if you have people that are like you're friendly with that are part of that particular scene, you may not be. You may not be, but you're hanging out or you're friendly. You don't mind them coming around. You don't mind going to their place to sit down and watch TV. Stuff happens. Stuff can happen. Okay, so it's up now, it's up for your sister, Shamar. It's up for her and her nieces and all of those people who live in that area to learn from this and say, well, we need to move. We need to move out of this neighborhood. Okay, Patrick was an example. He, he was a lesson. You, you, this is a lesson learned now. Okay, you're, you're learning from what Patrick did. And like I said, he, he didn't do it, but he wasn't against it. He was a part of it, but he wasn't really against it, okay? So you learn from what you see happening within your family structure, within your environment, within the mindscape of everyone around you. You learn. It's time to move now. It's time to move out of that area and start, you know, just start thinking differently and start watching who you have, who you hold as friends and the people you let in your house, the people you go into their house. You, you have to, everything you do should be measured and you use Patrick as, as a measuring stick. Okay. He, he, he could be used as a measuring stick, 32 years old, 32 years old, and not one time in this particular, call it an article, that, did I hear that he was an expert in anything? Not once. All you read is he liked to party. He liked to sing. Like the party. Like to dance. You, you can see what I'm saying, right? You can see what I'm saying, right? Oh, he was a partier. 32 years old. Four kids. Unemployed. Unemployed. 32 years old, four kids, and like to party, like to dance, like to sing. And he hung with the wrong crowd. Now, 
Use that. Use what happened to Patrick best and make your life better. Manage your emotions. Manage your emotions because whoever wrote the script of the DNA, whoever wrote that language is a language. Whoever wrote it put something, I think it's a stumbling block, actually. I think it's a stumbling block. And I think it was accentuated. That stumbling block was accentuated during the time, the, you know, the 400 years you spent in, in that particular situation. You know, you remember the situation you had? For centuries, that what it it was actually, they used that they used that emotion against you, okay? They used it against you, and you have it in you like it's on. It, it's a little bit more. It, it, it's on overdrive, you know. It's on overdrive the way you see funerals and the way you you see death and the way you see certain things in life. It's it's actually on overdrive. It's something you need to manage. It's something you need to. To ask yourself, look back into yourself and ask, why am I crying? Why am I weary? Why am I sad? Why am I this? Why am I that? Why? Why? Ask yourself the questions. Why? 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 Why am I offended by Shari Veronica making this comment? Why am I like on fire to, to, to get on YouTube to, to tell her, to, to tell her off and tell her what? Why? Why? All I'm here to say is, learn from what happened to Patrick. Learn. He was a, he was a guiding example. He, he was a guide. Look at him as a guide of what not to do. What not to do, okay? If you're going to have children, you must make sure that they do not come into this world in poverty. That's number one. That's number one. Number two. If you are a certain age and you are a father and, and you have, you know, a chassel, you know, you're doing your thing or whatever, you should be gainfully employed. You should be gainfully employed because if you don't have anything to offer, why do you have people depending on you if you don't have anything to offer? And you must make sure that you're bankable. You must make sure you're bankable like having your certificates, having your degrees, you know, getting a skill, going to the polytechnic and receiving a skill in carpentry, plumbing. You know, you could be, you could be anything. As I tell people, there are millions of things you can be. Millions of things you could be. Why pick poverty? Why pick that? Why pick the poverty program? This is Sherry Veronica.